All right, let's get straight to it. Welcome to my laboratory. I mean, my messy shop table. We're gonna take uh, some silver that all you've done is, maybe you saw it in a different video, but uh, using electrolysis, we've separated it into really small particle, particles. We're looking for silver ions if possible. That's what we're going for. So the silver solution in water, it's gonna be uh, pretty integral to the process. So first you're gonna make some of this. Then we're gonna use some grain alcohol. I'm using some Everclear and I've all I've done is shoved a whole bunch of lavender in there and soaked it until as much, made a tincture, so as much as can possibly dissolve has been dissolved in there. And we're gonna get started. This is really simple. And the last ingredient is just over-the-counter hydrogen peroxide. So I'm gonna do three simple parts. 100, I think that's milliliters. Yeah, milliliters of our alcohol. I'm gonna use hundred milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And these two are not active together, but you wanna do these two first. So first two mixtures are here. It doesn't have to be exact, so don't freak out if you go a little over. And either way, it's not gonna be a big deal. And then our silver solution. I went a little bit too far with that. That's okay, it's not gonna be a big deal. I wasn't paying attention and probably put 150 milliliters in. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna take this. Now this is my antiseptic antibacterial solution and it's gonna work for about a month. So I've got about a month supply right here. You can see the really small, I just shook it up, but otherwise there is a reaction going on with the, the hydrogen peroxide and the silver ions. And you can see a lot of very small bubbles are forming. Um, that could be hydrogen and oxygen. So now I'm gonna fill up my spray bottle. And make a huge mess because I'm in my shop and it just doesn't matter. Probably should have put something on that. I think I had a little funnel out here, but it's hard to find anything when you don't keep track of your stuff and it's a big, huge mess. But anyway, there we go. It's ready to go. I trust this solution Spray right into my mouth, not gonna kill me. It's not gonna hurt anything. And this is why I make it. Not only can you spray your hands, kill viruses, bacteria, it even stops odors to a degree, which is kind of nice, but hydrogen peroxide has kind of its weird malodor already. But I'm gonna spray my mask real well, inside and outside. And this is just a, a bamboo material that I use for a mask, which already has a small amount of an antibacterial, antifungal back property. And I'm just gonna spray it down real well. Rub it in. And now I've wetted my mask. And as it dries, it will still maintain some of the antiviral properties that we're looking for, antibacterial, antiviral properties. And I can just pull my mask up and breathe through it. And that will kill almost anything that's coming into the air, everything settling on the mask. And then my own breathing out, it will stop a lot of the stuff if I have something. So this is a good way to add a layer of protection. Nothing's perfect, but this is gonna help a little bit so check it out, try it out, see if it works for you. And uh, I'd love to see some more tests. So if you get a chance, if you have ability to uh, test this in a Petri dish, I've already done it. 
anything you put in there dies. So it, it kills everything, which is good or bad, but it's not harmful to humans. So it's just one of those things you can use. You can put it on your skin. You're not going to have any problems. Anyway, check it out.